James Bond, John Wick, Don Draper. What do all of these guys have in common? The answer? They know how to rock a necktie. But for some reason, it just doesn't feel or look the same when you try to pull it off. Don't worry, gents. Armed with the right knowledge, you too can look just as good. In today's video, gents, I'm going to cover the essential necktie knots you need to know, as well as the rules you should follow to make sure your necktie looks amazing. And all the neckties and accessories in today's video are brought to you by our sponsor, The Dark Knot. So let's jump right into things with our first necktie knot, the four in hand. This necktie knot is perfect for point collars and jackets with thinner lapels. Start by making the wide end longer than the narrow end. The length will depend on the necktie itself. Next, you want to take the wide end and cross it over the narrow end, then bring it under and behind. Then wrap it around across the front again, creating a loop. Then bring it up through the neck opening. Now pull the wide end through the loop created at the front, but don't pull it tight just yet because what we want to go for here is perfection. We want a dimple in our necktie knot. Seriously, it looks so much better than just the necktie lying flat. Now there's two ways to create a dimple. Method number one, use three fingers to squeeze the fabric on top together. Then gently pull down with your other hand from the bottom until it's tight. Method number two, pinch the knot from the sides with two fingers. Take your other hand and use three fingers to pinch the fabric below the knot then gently pull down until it's tight. Finish tying the tie by holding the narrow end while pushing the knot up to your neck. Keep the narrow end secure by using the keeper loop on the back of the wide end. And remember, the tie should end around the middle of your belt buckle. If you find it's more than an inch too short, go ahead and start over and shorten the narrow end. If you find it's over an inch too long, go ahead and make the wide end shorter. Things are coming together, looking good. Now, before we cover the next knot, what is the right shirt collar to wear with your necktie? A point collar looks best with slim ties and smaller knots. A thick tie or a large knot can really overwhelm this collar type and mess up their proportions. Now, if you're wearing a spread collar, you have the most flexibility for different types of knots and tie widths. That being said, a medium sized tie and knot will generally look best here. Now, if you choose to rock a widespread collar, be sure to pair it with a large knot and a thick tie to balance it out. A narrow tie with a small necktie knot is just gonna look tiny and out of place with the larger collar space. So now let's get to knot number two, the half Windsor. So what I love about the half Windsor, it's one of the most versatile necktie knots out there. It works great with almost all shirt collar types. So you wanna start by making the wide end longer than the narrow end. Cross the wide end over the narrow end and bring it under and behind. Now take the wide end and push it through the neck opening. Once it's through, take the wide end and pull it across the front of the knot and bring it under and up through the neck opening again. Now pull the wide end through the loop created at the front. And don't forget to add the dimple. To finish, hold the narrow end and push the knot up to your neck. Now insert the narrow end into the keeper loop and you're done. If it lands at the middle of your belt line or belt buckle, boom, you've nailed it. Man, this looks good. All right, gents, so what do you think of the neckties in today's video? Beautiful, right? Gents, if you want to grab any of these neckties or accessories you're seeing in today's video, go over to The Dark Knot. They're the sponsor of today's video and I've been working with this company for years and I love what they do. Over on their website, tons of options when it comes to beautiful luxury neckties at an affordable price. 100% silk, a really thick, hefty feel to them. These are neckties that are going to last. With every necktie you purchase, with every pocket square you grab, you actually get a card that shows you exactly how to match it and how to bring it into your wardrobe. And the packaging, second to none. So if you're looking to give a gift, a gift that's going to fit all, a gift any professional man would appreciate, guys, right here, the Dark Knot makes it easy. Let's talk about all the different patterns. Regimental stripes, small repeating patterns. These are neckties that are easy to wear and are going to match any type of suit or sports jacket or blazer you've got in your wardrobe. And of course, the Dark Knot is a lot more than just neckties. Pocket squares, they've got tons of options. And they've got tons of other accessories as well. If you're looking for any type of tie clip, you're looking for a bracelet, cufflinks, scarves, and these new slim wallets. So they sent me a couple of these. Absolutely love these slim wallets. Now down in the description of today's video, I'm linking over to the Dark Knot with the best deal you're gonna find on the web. Seriously, gents, this deal is not gonna be around forever. Use that link in the description of today's video. Go over the Dark Knot and take advantage of the deals they've got for you.
Now, another pro tip is that you should try to match the width of your tie with the width of your jacket lapels. As long as there's not more than an inch difference, you are fine. What we're trying to avoid here is the skinny tie with the wide lapel. It's gonna make the lapels look overly large and ruin the proportions. If the necktie is too wide when compared to the lapels, it just looks cartoonish. Now we're jumping to necktie knot number three, the Balthus knot. So if you like a widespread collar and a suit with big peak lapels, then the powerful Balthus knot is just what you need. For this knot, you wanna start with the inside seam of the tie facing outwards. Start with the wide end much longer than the narrow end. Cross the narrow end over the wide end, then bring the wide end over and down through the neck opening. Now bring the wide end over to the other side of the narrow end before bringing it over and through the neck opening again. Cross the wide end back to the other side once more before going over and through the neck opening a third time. Bring the wide end to the other side again, but now you'll cross the wide end in front of the narrow end. Then bring it up through the neck opening. Pull the wide end through the loop formed at the front, and now you want to add the dimple. Finish by pushing the knot upwards while holding the narrow end to tighten the knot. If it lands right in the middle or close to the center of your belt line, you are good to go. Great job, you're looking good. The next pro tip, gents, don't forget to pay attention to the color of your shirt when you wear a necktie. You wanna have a bit of contrast. Make sure the tie isn't too similar in shade to the shirt. Otherwise, it's just gonna blend in. For a more formal look, always default to a lighter colored dress shirt. Now, what about dark shirts with lighter colored neckties? I personally don't like this look. I feel in most cases, it looks tacky and it's not nearly as versatile. And what about pocket squares? Now, some of you guys may have seen neckties and pocket squares being sold as a matching set. This is not how it's supposed to go. In my opinion, it's an abomination. No, your necktie and pocket square should complement each other, not match exactly. They both work with your outfit and the combination just looks good. Personally, I do like it when there is a small color match in each of them. So when choosing a pocket square, make sure you go with one with a variety of colors and that has a secondary or tertiary color that already works with some of the ties in your rotation. Now at this point, gents, you may be asking yourself, is the necktie dead? Is the tie obsolete? Well, gents, I address that question in this video right here. Seriously, guys, it's a great video. Click here to go check it out.